So I've been asked quite a few times what tools and software I use on a daily basis in my real estate investing business. So let's break that down now. All right, so the first thing is lists, right? If you're a real estate investor, you're basically working on database of lists. You're talking to motivated sellers. You've got to find these motivated sellers. So you're looking for lists of people like absentee landlords, delinquent property taxes, vacant properties, pre-foreclosures and foreclosures, inherited properties, probates, zombie properties, tired landlords, all different types of lists that you can go after. And the tool that we use for that is PropStream. All right, and so I'm going to put a link right up there for you guys. And that is how we pull all of our lists. So now that we've got our lists pulled, and I recommend you do use VAs for this task once you know how to do it yourself. The next thing that you need to do is you need to skip trace those lists. So one very popular tool that a lot of companies use is called Batch Skip Trace. And basically, they allow you to take the list you pulled from, let's say, PropStream, and load it up in there and skip trace it so that you can get phone numbers for the individuals that are on that list. And by having phone numbers, that allows you to do text marketing and cold calling to get hold of these people, right? These sellers and try to buy their house. So now that you've got those lists, you can load them into dialers, right? And there's a lot of different tools out there for dialers. The one tool that we've recently started using is called Smart Dialer. And I'll put a link up for that as well for you guys. So you've got your lists and you pull them, you're dialing people, hey, would you like to sell your house? You're using a virtual assistant or a cold calling company to do that. And now somebody said, yes, I would like to sell my house. At that point in time, you've got to have the ability to have someone following up on that. That could be you as your own acquisitions agent, or it could be somebody else that you're hiring. But either way, those leads have to be stored somewhere. And the place we use to store those leads is called Investor Fuse. Right? And Investor Fuse is a CRM or customer relationship management software program. And we have all of our leads that come in going into that, all right? So whether you call us or whether you fill out a web form on one of our websites, the lead is going to come into InvestorFuse, right? So while we're talking about those two, with the phone numbers, you need to have a system to track the leads that are coming in, right? So as an example, if a lead comes in off of cold calling, I want to track that. If a lead comes in off of text marketing, I want to track that. But I also need to track if I'm mailing out postcards and someone's calling a lot on a certain postcard, I need to know that. And so the way I do that is with a tool called Call Rail. And that's going to essentially allow me to have call tracking where I can have different phone numbers and different pieces of direct mail and on different websites and I can see where the call originated from, right? So I have it set up so that every time they make a phone call using one of those numbers with call rail, it automatically creates a lead inside my CRM investor fuse, right? The next thing you need to have is you need to have a seller website. So we use a company called Carrot for that. And our motivated seller websites are all with Carrot. And essentially the goal here is to be attracting or finding motivated sellers, people who are motivated to sell their house, the kind of person who's gonna to go to Google and type in need to sell my house fast. That's who you're looking to get. And you can have those people come to your website, fill out a form, and on that form, they can put the property address, their name, their phone number, and details about the property they're looking to sell it for. And then you can have either yourself or your acquisitions person following up on that lead, right? So very important to have the leads coming into the database and to have it all flowing together, right? So the call comes in through call rail or a person fills out a web form on the website. It comes directly into our CRM investor fuse. And once it's inside there, our agents and our lead managers can then follow up with that lead and try and close it and buy the house, right? So the question is, well, how do they follow up? So another tool that we use inside our CRM is called smartphone. And that's basically a virtual phone system is a voice over internet protocol phone system that you can just simply plug a USB headset in and inside our InvestorFuse database, you can actually just click on a number and you can dial that individual. We also have a smart dialer, which is the same company, where you can load up a list, one of those lists you've downloaded from PropStream and SkipTrace and put it in there and load it into a dialer. So you could load it into a dialer and then you could have a cold caller who would simply be dialing these people and anyone who says, yes, I'd like to sell my house, gets kicked up to the next person. And all of these phone 
calls, whether you're using the dialer, the smart dialer, whether you're using smartphone or all recorded and saved inside your CRM investor views, all right? So basically the one final piece that you need is your phone system, right? And who you're gonna use. So I highly recommend you do not use your cell phone. A lot of people when they start out do do that, but the problem is you can't track it, right? Because you don't know who's calling, you don't know whether, where they call from, and your phone's gonna be ringing all times of day and night. So I recommend you get some kind of a phone system so you can either have a phone system where it's ringing through call rail to an end phone, like a ring central phone system as an example, or you could have it going from call rail into a smartphone number and there's a lot of different options of what you can do, right? One final consideration is whether you're gonna answer the phone yourself or whether someone else is gonna answer it for you. So if you have a full-time job or you're not able to answer the phone all the time or you, know, or you don't wanna really be answering seller calls when you're out on an appointment with another seller, then another tool you can utilize is a company called Call Porter, which we use, and they'll essentially answer that phone for you. So what I like with that is, is that essentially when we first started out, we had the acquisitions people, and way back when that was me, right, that was answering the phone myself, right? Then we broke it out and we said, okay, we'll have the higher acquisitions agents, we'll have them answer the phone. But the problem with that strategy is, is that if the acquisitions agent's out for a week, who's answering the phone? So that's where a lead manager comes in. And the problem with a lead manager, a lead manager really should be focusing on the database and the leads that are in the database as opposed to answering the phone. So what we finally figured out and what worked for us was basically separating it into three different roles and saying, look, acquisitions agents talk to, to leads that are hot and warm, all right? Lead managers go through our database and figure out which leads are dead and which are alive and which are hot and cold and warm. And the people who answer the phone is a separate task. So that way we can look at those three separately and they can be teed up, right? So it's like you tee up from a call coming in to a warm lead, to an agent, and to a sale, all right? So those are the processes of what you need to have for your business. Uh, you need to have a phone system where the calls come in. You need to have a phone system to return calls. Uh, you wanna have everything recorded and everything logged because you as the business owner need to be able to listen to those calls of how the people are answering the phone sound, how your lead managers sound, how your acquisitions agents sound, and then you can do trainings and make them better. So if you're a new investor and you're just starting out, you might get overwhelmed with all of the tools that I just spoke about, but keep in mind, you could be a one person business and you could have your own website, you could have your call rail, you could have your smartphone, you could have your investor fuse, you could be taking the calls yourself and you could be going to those appointments, you can be buying those houses. As you grow, what's gonna happen is you, as you start making money, you, you flip a house, you make 10, 20, 30,000, you take some of that money and you put it into mailing postcards and you get more leads coming in and you buy more houses. Eventually you're gonna to get to the point where you're not able in one day to call everybody back and you haven't called everyone from, yes, from yesterday or from the day before. And typically this will happen when you're on vacation. Ask me how I know that. So basically, that's when you're gonna realize like, wow, if I want my business to run seamlessly, I'm gonna to have to plug someone in to take care of that. And then at that point in time, you have somebody answering the phone, you have someone dealing with the leads, you have yourself a lead manager. Then eventually you will get to the point where you say, I don't wanna go out on these appointments because I don't have a guarantee I'm gonna buy this house. It's very time consuming to drive an hour, go to a house, sit there, come back, take out three hours of my day. I maybe did or didn't buy a house. I'd rather hire someone and simply give them 10% of the profit on the deal and have them go on those appointments and also have them call to the people that are inside the database, right? So as you grow and start making more money, you wanna outsource, it's a good idea to think about using virtual people because it's much more cost effective. And those are the tools that you need, right? So you have a good virtual assistant, you have a phone system, you have call tracking with call rail, you have your seller website with Carrot, you have your investor fuse for your CRM, you use your smartphone, and now you put that all together and you've got yourself a system where you can have marketing working for you and you can have your business running for you. And ideally, you wanna to get to a point where you can unplug from your business and you can operate like a CEO of the business. So CEO of a business is almost like a puppet master. Imagine you're controlling the puppets, right? And they're, they're moving on the strings. So essentially, you wanna be able to just sit back and look at what's called KPIs or key performance indicators. You wanna see how many calls are being made, how many leads are coming in, which channels are working, what your cost per lead is, what your cost per appointment is, what your cost per contract is. And if you have multiple reps, you're able to instantly see which rep is better than another, right? So one of the dangers of hiring only one person in a role is, is that then that's the person you're dealing with. But when you have two people in a role, let's say two acquisitions agents or two lead managers or two people answering, you'll instantly see who's better and you're able to constantly improve your people that are on your payroll so that you get better results. 
and ultimately buy more houses. All right, so that's the toolbox. That's how it works. It's pretty straightforward. Every one of our coaching students that comes into our program goes through a business setup program that we give them and flows through this entire thing for them. So if you like that video, guys, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel so you can see upcoming videos and feel free to leave your comments below if you have any questions about anything that we covered on this video. And otherwise, I will see you all on the next video.